Phew, he's out. So we have the new Metricantosaurus here. First, we need to know what Metricantosauruses are. Oh, and here's his card anyway. So the Metricantosaurus was a 26 foot long dinosaur that existed in the middle Jurassic period. It died out in the late Jurassic period during the small extinction at the end of the Jurassic. So yeah, it wasn't really much of a survivor. The Metricantosaurus weighed one ton, but it had a bite of 2.5 tons. That's more than two times its body weight which is just one ton, like I already mentioned. The Metricanceros had very sharp teeth, as you can plainly see, and the Metricanceros' sharp claws could easily scratch at its prey. So the Metricanceros' name means moderately spined lizard because it had lots of spines up here that kind of gave it a humpbacked appearance, as you guys can see. So this humpbacked appearance was really strange. It didn't have spines as long as Sucomimus or Spinosaurids, which were later spinosaurids that existed like later on in the cretaceous period uh, the metricanceros was pretty big as you can see it was 26 feet long but the metricanceros's head was also very powerful it could ram into prey the metricanceros lived in england and england is in europe but then pangaea wasn't still there like you know one giant land combined all into one in the earth so it, Pangaea was not there, which means that the Metricanceros lived in England, but Pangaea was split into two parts then. And the two parts were Laurasia and Gondwana. Laurasia consisted of Asia, Europe, and North America, and Gondwana consisted of Africa, South America, and Antarctica. So yeah, there were two parts, and Metricanceros definitely lived in Laurasia. They were rainforests back then, and it was very, very hot, much hotter than today. So that's why it had spines to cool down its temperature, like to regulate its temperature. The Metricanceros was known as a tetaneuron, which was just like a large theropod that kind of looked like a T-Rex. Tetaneurons include abelosaurs, tyrannosaurs, and spinosaurs. Uh, tetaneurons were a vast group of meat-eating dinosaurs, and Metricanceros was definitely one. But the Metricanceros had a sail on its back, and earlier dinosaurs did not because they weren't that advanced. So yeah, Metricanceros is a very interesting and mysterious dinosaur, as you guys know. The Metricanceros' eyesight was very powerful. It kind of had binocular vision. Mm -hmm. um, I see a bird. No, it's a plane. No, it's a flying Metricanceros. Okay, guys, that was just a funny joke for you. Anyway, so Metricanceros' were carnivores, and they liked to eat meat. Metricanceros' preyed on Cediosaurus' and Lexovisaurus'. Anyway, their enemies were Allosaurus and Ceratosaurus, but the Metricanceros was much smaller than both of them. So yeah, the Metricanceros was a pretty interesting dinosaur, but it was confused with Megalosaurus when its fossils were first found. Megalosaurus is just another dinosaur. It preys on Cediosaurus, and Megalosaurus was a carnivore. So they both lived in England, and they're both close relatives. But the difference is that Metricanceros had spines on its back, and Megalosaurus didn't. And also, the Metricanceros is much stronger bite force, obviously. But the Megalosaurus was 4 feet longer, because it was 30 feet long. So yeah, these are some pretty interesting facts about the Metricanceros, huh? Okay, I'm just giving away the action feature now. Anyway, so that is just a little roar from this Metricanceros. Did you hear that? He says, I didn't get to roar before, and also he says, Thank you for saving me from the fire. You're welcome, Metricanceros. I wish I could roar that back. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, the Metricanceros is a very cool dinosaur. And maybe we should get into this toy now, guys. So let's see this toy. It has nice yellow paint up here on the snout and on the head. And also it has some like kind of dark paint here. And it just goes right here, but there's no blackish paint on the tail. This Metricanceros is very interesting. I'm glad the toe claws are painted because some, like, I watch other reviews sometimes and some of those reviews, they don't have the toe claws painted, which is really weird. But the Metricanceros also has these very sharp teeth, as you can see. But don't worry, I won't get injured. And these teeth actually don't go all the way up into this jaw. I like this new reddish tongue. These claws are not painted, but still okay. I don't mind. And now let's get into the detailing. You can see lots of bumps right here and also over here, lots of bumps. And here you can kind of like see the lines here. They're very cool lines indeed. Yeah, you can actually see the faint detailing of some ribs here, which I really love. And also some bony scoots here. 
and also like a nice detailing on the teeth as you can see they're, they're pretty sharp for like a toy dinosaur but still pretty good for uh so i guess six and above can have this figure yeah this metric answer is really cool i was so excited to get this figure my friend or cousin Shivan gave this to me. I'm really, really thankful to him. He also gave me this other Savage Strike Dilophosaurus, but that's another story for another time. I mean, another open box or unboxing and review for another time. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Now let's take a look at this collector card. We have the Metricansaurus here, and then as you can see, the Metricansaurus is looking very cool. So as you guys can see, its strength is 7, its speed is 5, and its intelligence is 5, and its aggression is 6. And here, down here, you guys may not have noticed, but it says 23. You guys know why? Because you've, if you add up all the stats, it will become 23. So he technically has 23 in total. He's a 23 guy. Hey, please don't walk out of here. Anyway, so I'm just warning you guys. If you ever get this figure, it's really hard to unbox. But don't worry, guys. I really love this figure anyway. So yeah, this was today's review. And hope you enjoyed it, guys. Tell me if the fire part was cool. Goodbye, guys.